Hello guys, this is gonna be a very small video dedicated to one feature in level editing that I find very useful and I hope you will find it useful too if you didn't know about that. This is about multiple selection in your viewport. For example, in my case, why I need it, I have a playable area and uh, I have a reference. I have a reference building here that has an interior and now I want to delete this part from my level. And I don't want to select it in outliner by finding what is used here and what is used here. And these buildings are not grouped so I cannot select unfortunately any groups to select whole building. And there are two ways of doing that. You can use a 2D viewport by clicking on a perspective button on the viewport button on your top left corner of a viewport and select top, bottom, left, right, front or back depending on what is more comfortable for you. For example, let's select top here you will see wireframe and you can select lit or unlit but from a top view for example in both lit or unlit uh, nothing will be visible because of the clouds now i can select uh, bottom and something is visible but it works uh, very strange so I don't see any reasons of using unlit or lit. You can use wireframe and select here by just dragging your left mouse button or deselect by using um, by using Control Alt left mouse button. But I would not recommend you to do it with a big number of factors uh, or meshes selected because. Uh, in my case on Unreal Engine 5.2 it crashed me too much times. So now let's talk about perspective view. Here we are also able to select with a box by using Ctrl Alt left mouse button drag like this. And by default it will select me this. So it will select me instances on uh, in my other building because uh, instances bound in box is very big and uh, even uh, if I end my box selection here it touches instances bound in box and I don't want to delete it. I don't want to delete it and we are able to configure it. To be able to configure it we have to navigate to edit editor preferences and search for box select. Here we have two options, box select occluded objects and strict box selection. By default they don't have any bindings, I have binded them on num7 and num8 and let's uh, talk about box select occluded objects first. This will allow us to define whether we want to select occluded objects or not. What is occluded objects in very few words because occluded occlusion is a very big theme. Let's add two cubes here and uh, scale one of them for example like this. From, from this point of view, from this camera position, none of them are occluded. But from this position a box that is behind this wall is occluded it is not drawn and from this point they are not occluded but from this one a box behind this small box is occluded so this option allows us to define whether we want to select occluded objects so now as you can see by default occluded objects are selected so this box is selected. Now if I will type 7 keyboard button and select again this box will not be selected because it was occluded. And that's all for this option. Let me reverse it to enable occlusion selection back. Now let's talk about strict box selection. 
and it's also easier to show you on an example for example on this roof this roof static mesh is uh, has uh, bound every static mesh every actor has its own bounding box and this actor has something like this rectangular uh, box now if i will drag something like this like a very small area just touching this roof this roof will be selected if i will type 8 and strict box selection then this roof will not be selected because i didn't cover whole bounding box and now i have to cover a whole roof a whole bounding box of this roof to make it selectable so using these parameters we are now able to select this building without selecting anything from here like with a strict box selection and uh, with uh, enabled selection of occluded objects i can select this whole building without selecting anything from here well I don't remember if I mentioned it, but unfortunately I didn't find any ways to deselect objects with this box selection from a perspective view. So you will have to manually deselect them here by holding Ctrl or from an outliner or from navigating to a, a 2D viewport and using Ctrl Alt left drag. But if I will use it now, I think I'm almost sure that I will crash and I will not uh, do it. So now I'm able to just tap on delete and delete a whole building. Also don't forget to, to check what you have selected because in my case exponential hate fog has been selected and I think the directional light also has been selected and they will be deleted. Be, they will be deleted, yes. So double check that you didn't select anything that is needed for you so everything from here is deleted and except this post process volume i don't know why it hasn't been selected maybe because it has been set on bound uh, but that's it for this video if you have instances this tool will not allow you to remove them you will have to remove your instances manually or if you edit them using the foliage you will have to delete them using the foliage removal tool that's it for this video and i hope it will help someone thanks for watching